So here's a full guest list. There's a scoreboard at top to tell you how many guests you currently have and the last update. You can use the first letter of a surname to jump to that area. Here I'm typing a W and it takes me down to the W's. I continue to type W's and I cycle through the surnames that start with a W and A takes me back to the top. There are several sorts you can use. There's a name sort button to sort by surname and then first name within surname. And once you enter table numbers, the table sort will sort by table. In this case, we've deferred entering the table, so the table sort doesn't do much different. If you want to print, if you print this page, it won't print well because it's a window into a scrolling list. You're much better off to go to the More menu and pick one of the printing options. Now you have something that's printable. So I'll return to the main guest list. The guest list can handle special characters like umlauts and sedilias. You'll see this entry here. And the way to enter that, typically you would cut and paste it from an email or from a word processor. And your keyboard may have ways of entering those special characters. At any rate, if you get the data in there, we will save it and handle it properly. Under the More menu, there are some options to download to a spreadsheet. We don't necessarily recommend that because once you have this data in a spreadsheet, you might be tempted to edit. And now you have a very messy synchronization problem between the official guest list and that renegade spreadsheet. So it's best just to maintain everything on the website and not have spreadsheets 